Hello minions. Uh, it's taken longer than it should have to do the video for this second ever game of Modern Warfare now that it's been out for weeks and um, I've been capturing quite a bit more so this isn't going to be uh, just a one-off and uh, hopefully I've got a plan of kind of what I want to do going forward so hopefully I should be able, there's a lot of hope in here, <laughs> uh, I should be able to get a routine going with getting some stuff out. So. I'm going to talk a little bit about that in this video, kind of what my plan is now instead of floating ideas like I have been in the last couple of videos. And I've been doing some soul searching about this channel. And like I mentioned before, what really got me motivated in creating videos was how much fun it is playing multiplayer games with friends and then that interaction and the live gameplay commentary. Well, not even live commentary, right? The live interactions between people joking around and having fun while playing games. I need to figure out a way to get that back into this to rebuild a group of people to play with um which with limited time is a little bit more difficult but i'm pretty sure i can figure that out that'll be one aspect of it um and then the other aspect of it is the other part of what i really like doing which is essentially explaining um insights that i have into into things i've been playing video games a long time since i'm an old man and i uh the way my brain works i kind of feel like i have pretty good ability to take things that are relatively complicated and break them down so they're relatively simple to understand. And so that was the other part of what I've always loved about this channel is like the Wheezy's War College series and some of my quick tips videos where it's just like situational stuff like how to apply tactics in shooters. I, I, I really enjoy tactical shooters. I'm not a big fan of, um, as you guys who've been around a while know, I'm not a huge fan of like RPG style stuff. The divisions never really held my attention. Um, I do enjoy Destiny, even though it's kind of a mix between the kind of tactical first-person shooter and the more RPG, where it's just kind of like a lot of shooting at bullet sponges. Although Destiny 2, I think, has significantly less of that. But that's that's kind of where, where I fall, is in those kind of two main categories. And instead of continually, and by continually, I mean occasionally posting content that's basically me talking about these things, it's time to start getting into it. And, and that... What I need to do is um, have a plan so that I can optimize my workflow for that. And when it comes to not trying to just play games for the purposes of capturing um, entire gameplays, right? Like instead of just like playing 12 games and, okay, one of them's got a, you know, a good score, I'll post the whole gameplay and do a commentary over it when I'm not, you know, playing with people. That's, that's That really slows down my the way that I like to post videos because... A, you don't always get a great gameplay. And then when you do... I mean, if really what you're doing is post the gameplay, then what, you want to just talk about random stuff over it like I'm doing right now? Like, that's... That, that content is only compelling for so long. Um, at least as far as what interests me, what maintains my interest. I don't want to just come on here and ramble over gameplay. Um, a little irony here as I'm rambling over gameplay. Uh, but that's not the plan going forward. Um, short of the actual live interactions with friends which was always entertaining because of the conversation more so even than the gameplay although they combined um other than that which i want to get back to as well and that was kind of the core of what i built this channel for um i want to be able to be posting stuff relatively continuously even if i'm not able to consistently get gameplays with people um and i think the best way to do that and what motivates me the most is the kind of content that is uh, giving tactics and strategies and explaining things. So, um, in that vein, I have already started. Uh, I believe actually captured enough footage to be able to put together an episode. So it's gonna it's gonna take me a little bit to kind of get used to that workflow and cutting things up. I'm using I'm already got some, a tool that helps me cut up videos relatively quickly. Doesn't require a lot of rendering time, and then I should be able to lay them down in a timeline in my video editing program pretty quickly. Um, and I think that's going to help speed up my workflow and how I'm going to do things. And the upside of that is even if I don't get a game that's worth keeping, especially when I'm like I did for these, not this gameplay right here, but for the clips that I'm going to put in this video, is I decided to kind of, I don't know why, I kind of hate myself or whatever. I decided to pick the FAL as like the first game I gun I really put time into in this game. I see... I see the power of the autos in this game and this gameplay that you're seeing right now, my second game ever when I spent time with a burst weapon and picked up some autos off the ground. You see the effectiveness of that. Um, and I've since had some games where you just 
you can, I don't want to say it's easy mode, but it's significantly less challenging to just pick up an M4 and go out and and put up a good play, gameplay like and do some exciting stuff. So I've put myself, as I learn here, that munitions boxes are explosive. Enemy munitions box. Lesson learned. Game two. <laughs> um, I want to... Uh, I went ahead and started playing with the FAL to the point where I literally almost was like, I, I kind of like don't want to play Modern Warfare because I don't want to play with that goddamn FAL again, but I don't want to just slap on a, a 141 and just like easy mode it. Um, so... I decided to kind of build it around, okay, what can I do to help other people who might want to use the FAL, not feel like they hate themselves, and not just feel like the the right thing to do is just to go back to the M4. I mean, that's the easy thing. You pick up the FAL for a couple of games, and you're like, this thing's fucking garbage. The M4 is better at every range, so why would I ever use this thing? Um, I want to create... You know, I want to help people who want to do that, who don't want to use the same gun. I mean, I'm the kind of guy, I don't want to pick one gun or two guns and play 50 matches with those guns, right? I want to use, there's all these guns in this game. I want to use all of them, and I want to find out the best way to use all of them. If I'm going to use the FAL, how can I do that and still play well? Um, I ended up last uh, last time I played, which is probably two nights ago, um, with a good game with the FAL. I kind of taught myself as I was trying to capture clips to kind of help teach other people how to play. I figured out a play style that works well with it, and I figured out a set of attachments um, that really complement the weapon and, and some classes built around it that actually made it... I was having fun using the FAL, and I and I did well. I ended up getting a game that was like a 30-plus kill to less than five death game, which is used to be my unofficial kind of de facto standard for a full gameplay. And I'm hopefully going to get that posted relatively soon just because it's a nice one to kind of be like, hey, here's kind of an overview of what I learned about the FAL. Um, the point of all of that is to say that even if I don't get a gameplay like that, every game, even if it's a piece of garbage, has probably one or two clips in it that, that are decent, that are worth kind of putting together in a here's how you use the FAL video. So that will help me be able to be more consistent, I think, about getting some content for the channel. Um, so that's the other thing that I'm going to be working on. It. I still want to address as uh, we go on the idea of open sourcing the channel and some mechanisms for getting you guys access to the video. I've already got some ideas that I'm floating around in that. But it occurred to me as I'm trying to get the channel rolling again after essentially three plus years of absenteeism is that I've got to start regularly posting content again to get engagement back into the channel, to get enough people actually on the channel again to make doing something like open sourcing the channel worth it right right now there's like three of my loyal favorites right that that, that hang around that they've just been here since the beginning like, oh cool i got 1900 subs i need to start being active again so that people actually want to start watching these videos so um that's my plan it's, a, it's actionable i'm gonna be start i'm gonna be going down that path and uh so there should be some cool stuff coming soon and uh if you like the fal what's wrong with you and i'll help you out here shortly so Talk to you guys later.